Hello, today's devotional can be found in 3rd Nephi, chapter 9, verse 21. Behold, I have come into the world to bring redemption unto the world to save the world from sin. Alright, so Christ did come unto the world. As many of us may know, Christ at one time lived on this earth as a mortal. He was a son of God and a son of man at the same time, as we all are. And he came. This plan was long, long ago. Created long before any of us came to earth. Because Heavenly Father knew that the first mortals would fall. Our, parent, heaven, our first parents, Adam and Eve, they fell, but it was for a purpose that they fell. They fell that we might have joy. And, of course, Christ and Lucifer both volunteered for the plan, but Lucifer, he wanted the glory for himself, and he wanted to force everyone to come back, whereas Christ wanted to give everyone their agency. And of course, Heavenly Father sent Christ. And that angered Lucifer. And Lucifer started a war. In heaven and the result was he and a third group of the hosts of heaven were dismissed and forever damned to live as spirits evil spirits never being able to possess the body and Cain eventually followed the same path but the difference between him and Lucifer is Cain got a body so he is a son of perdition. Anyway, Christ came to earth. He lived, he grew, he learned, he suffered, he died, and he also taught his gospel to those who would listen. And he also made disciples of who came unto him. And eventually, Son of Men crucified him, not knowing who he was, thinking he had done very, very wrong when he, in fact, that was his plan all along, was to die for the world. And he eventually, he, he died for a the world after hanging nine hours on a cr nailed to a cross. And three days later, he rose again, thereby beating physical death and sparing us the permanency of spiritual death if we, if we wanted to escape spiritual death after doing wrong things. Because, of course, when we sin, we spiritually die until we repent. And it's because of the atonement we can repent. It's because of the atonement we can be redeemed from our sins. We can take that bag of sins that we carry, that we carry, which is the heaviest thing we'll ever have to carry. Give it to Christ because he suffered for them already. I mean, he shed tears of blood for each and every one of us in that Garden of Gethsemane. So why would we want to keep those sins for ourselves and deny the atonement exists? Because Christ spared us a lot of pain. Yes, there's still the pain of repentance. But do you realize how much more painful it could be had it not been for Christ? The atonement is for sinners to become saints and saints to become better if it is so chosen because as children of God we've all got the potential to become gods if we so choose if we so choose to allow the atonement to redeem us from our past selves that we may look to the future of what we can do and can be we can live up to our potential. Of course, there's going to be stumbling blocks and trials and tribulations, but guess what? Through Christ, all things are possible. Remember that. Through Christ, we can truly be redeemed. 
We can live in the world, but not of the world. And find joy in being seen as peculiar because we are allied with Christ. But it's our choice. And with that said, I love you so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.